So girls, Allegra and, Le and Isabel, as I was saying today, we're gonna explore work of one artist. His name is Raghubir Singh. This artist was originally born in India. So we're gonna make believe we traveled to India today, all the way from United States of America, USA to India, and see what kind of things he documented. Because guess what? He didn't draw with the pencils. He didn't paint with the paintbrushes. He didn't sculpt with the chisels. Oh, he he used what? Colored pencils. pencils. You think color pencils? His crayons. You you think he, his crayons? What do you say? Um, just sketch. Just sketched. I think his hands. You I, think his hands? He, what do you say? Um, I think he was trying to do something to impress people, so they so they could so more people could come look at their his sculpture. You're using what pencils? What? He probably he. Got paint and he dipped his three fingers and he like with paints and three fingers. So finger painting. Well, girls, look. P H O T O photograph. He do he photograph. That's what I'm gonna today. I'm gonna demonstrate because I only made a camera for you. I made a paper camera. Come with me. Look, look. Watch what I'm doing. All of you are going to get one of these. And I was home, and guess what I did? I folded these for you because it's a camera. You open and you close. You open and you close. If you open it completely, Thank you, Maria. they separate entirely. And it becomes two pieces, and you go, Maria, I think my camera's broken. Don't worry about that, because this fits exactly like, almost like, have you ever done folding origami? Yes. Yes. So yes. Like I can origami. do a lot. Raghubi Singh, he was a famous photographer and he went all the way from India and came even to New York City. Now, hold on a minute. In a particular area in India, he's India. from particular area in India, he's from Rajasthan, right here, northern part of India. Oh, Wonderful. we're gonna try to make believe Maria? we went to visit his hometown. Isabel, can you tell me about this hometown? What's going on here? Maria? Cameron first, go. Um, there are cows and people and cameras. Okay, there's... And a little puddle. It, it looks like a puddle to Cameron. This is the interesting part. Hold on, and you mentioned cows and, and people. You think that's not a puddle, it's a lake it's instead. Cows. You're saying camels. You're right, camels and cows. I think that's a river instead. You think it's a river instead of a puddle? Well, that's what Alexa says. What do you say, Caroline? Um, I think they're getting ready for something. So like when, when they get ready for something, it looks like they're actually getting ready for something because, because they look like they have cows and camels and lots of other animals. Okay, so you're saying they're getting ready for something because they look like they're ready to go in action. That's interesting, Caroline. Okay. What do you say, Molly? I say it kind of looks like there used to be an old lake there, and it's like a desert place, sort of, and they're kind of getting ready for something, and they're at a desert place. Molly, what made you think of desert? Because it's really, really sandy, and there's bushes in the back that look like cactus. Carla, do you see what Molly just said? Yes. So Molly's right. Actually, Molly, you're right. It is a desert. It's a town. It is actually a desert. And in desert, you see a lot of camels because camels could go on and on without drinking that much water. What shape is it? Because that's actually what's holding the water inside. What shape is it? In the middle, it where all the animals square. and people are it's surrounding. You're right, Carla. It's a square. Girls, it's not a circle. It's not a squiggly, squiggly, wiggly shape. It's a square. And inside of it, right in the middle, where all the animal and people are hovering over because water is very important for us. Do you see that? What? And it's a square, right? Rectangular square. They put the water inside yes. to them to the drink. white thing. You're right. And water. Why do we need water? You want to answer that, Caroline? Because you want to drink it. And because, Caroline, I'm first. Go ahead. Because if you if you don't have water, then you might dry. Eat. You're right. All of us living planet, Cameron. Go ahead. Everybody. Everybody, you're right. So they're all gathered here in this desert, where the wells are. That looks like a lake to you. That's called well. 
and that's in a square rectangular shape, very good color. And guess what? It's an important location so they could dehydrate. It's in India, yes. And? I know how I can go, because people are coming back from the Yes, and they're wearing different outfits. You're right about that. Now, girls, are you ready? You get to open up this portable camera, and you get to control how much of a window you want it to open. Do you want to open big, small? Then you get to decide to retake these pictures that Sing, we're going to just call him Sing, okay, took. You're going to retook, retake these pictures, and you're going to crop it. Crop it means you're going to change the way they look. Got it? There are the ones in here. So open this. And this is all I see, the diamond shape. And maybe I want to focus on the two ladies wearing the red dresses. And there seems to be a, is that a cow? Or is that a camel? Wait, cool. That's not a camel. It has like... It's a cow? No, like over there. Or yeah, and then, yeah. It's, it's a edge. goat. There's goats as well. You think that's Can a goat? Yeah, that that some, okay. No, not that. Girls, I want you to right. change the, this photograph, got it? So I see more than 40 animals. So pretend you're taking a picture of it, and I want you to change this photograph to your own. Caroline R. And can you look at that and tell me, is there a similarity between that image and this image? Allegra, go first. So she is swinging on that too. There's both swings. Except the, except the other person is not on top of her. Okay, there are people swinging in both pictures. Very good. What else, Molly? Go. There's the tree. There's the tree right there and there. They're both swinging off the trees. Very good observation. What else, Caroline Arco? Um, it looks like um that they that they live that they live. In the same place. It looks like same environment. What did you see that made you think of same environment, not New York City? Go. Because um, there's a tree not there. Because of the nature. And then there's one tree there. Okay. And then it's like in the same place. It's exactly the same it's place. It's not the same place because um, here there's grass. Yes. And someone's holding into a rope. Okay, Carla right. disagrees with some of you because she's saying it may look the same, but it's quite different yeah, because quite. one is on the grass and the other side they're concrete. They're in these brick stones. Carla was saying, hold on, Allegra, one at a time. Carla was saying, you know what? It's so different. If you look, girls, it is so different because she's not, she's not seeing any homes over here and there are homes over there. Girls, is this photograph again? Yes. 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 Really? No. no. That's like painting something. You're right. Nothing. Gold table. It's a painting. painting. Is this photograph? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's a very important question. Come, come, come. Look because, at this. Because if you have a painting, yes, you're right. It's going to be like a little Yes. It's going to be like a little bit. Right. Thank you. Girls, photographers think that we are exploring. He really loved those little delicate paintings called miniatures. I know, not because they're small, but they're delicate paintings. And he said, you know what, I could do the same thing with my photographs. And he tried using his camera. I want to show you something that is actually a camera, but it's painted. Are you ready? Instead of using camera, camera paper that I made for you, girls, camera. this time I want you to use your hands, fingers, and create a shape. It could be a round shape, or it could be a diamond shape. Like this. Or you could pinch your fingers and make a little lens. Look what I made. I want you to look at, pick one of the two, but I think we should focus on the animal as our theme today. Now, change that picture. How can I change it? Is it three chicken or roosters walking down the street? Miss Maria, okay. should they be surrounded five. by chairs? Is it five roosters? You can do you think there should be a cat? You want to include another animal? Change I it. I, can do. I want you to change it. Change How the story. Do I do it? You can do it. 
can change the sparkle. Change the sparkle. Like with a polka dot pencil. No, hold on. Pencil's coming. Yeah. Ready? When can you get I a pencil? pencil? Start now. Go. Mm -hmm. You've seen it, Isabel? Mm -hmm. Where? At a supermarket? So Live chicken? I brought home Live chicks chicken? last year from... <laughs> I, brought, I brought home chicks last year from um, yeah. my farm. From farm? Yeah. Where, where's your farm, though? Because... It's in Pennsylvania. This is New York City. Guess what? This is New York City. Yes. One time I bring acorns to my house. Yeah. Then there was worms in it. Really? Yeah. I like to go sit on the They had. I love yours. You know why, girls? This is made by Helen Levy, another artist who did New York City and. Wait, did you say Helen? Yes, Helen. The photographer Singh said, you know, she has no colors. I mean, she has all these photos, and the colors, she just accepted them the way, just the way it is. Colors became another part of the photographs. And he said she made it so easy. It looked so magical that he really admired her work. Okay? Singh, the photographer Singh from India, he really admired her work in some paintings, but he also looked to other artists for inspiration and ideas, right? Did you thought adding colors, yeah. color was more exciting to photographs than just black and white? Yes. I yes, Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, make her one and make it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you hear somebody repeat what Caroline Unger just said? Caroline R. Yes. Caroline Unger was saying we've been looking at interesting artists. And without interesting art, it would not be fun. And to read these interesting artists' way of thinking, we get to learn. And that's what we did today. So good job. Yes, that was good. Mm -hmm. Cameron's old, Cameron's um, mom's okay. worker. Yeah. Um, told me this that you look at it and you blink your eyes once, and it kind of takes. That is very interesting observation. Molly just said, you know what, if you blink it, it's almost like taking a camera lens and going ch choo mm -hmm. Kind of, because then it like... Mm, no, yeah. It, if you move around, it kind of like moves. Yes, and yes. And then once you like blink and think, like yes. Jackie kind of looks like quite sure. Uh, I have to say, great job. I, I love it. Wolf? Girls, you no, girls yes. did such a great job yes. working on it. I am so proud. And I love you. What do you have to say? Nothing. Do you want to say anything else? What do you have to say, girls? You can call it Photography good. is fun? Yeah. Yes.